So as you guys see here, I've made over $41 million from my bunker. This is my most profitable business in the game out of all my businesses. I have other business guides on the motorcycle club businesses as well as the CEO businesses. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to put the playlist down in the description below and I'm also going to put it at the end of the video. All right, everyone, so this is gonna be the bunker guide. Let's head in and I'm gonna show you how everything works. The bunker is the way you can get your Mark II weapons. You can get your Mark II weapons or you can make a boatload of money. It's also the way how you get the explosive rounds for all your weapons if you assign your staff to research instead of manufacturing however you can assign it to both but let's take a look at this right now so as you guys see here i've made over 41 million dollars from my bunker this is my most profitable business in the game out of all my businesses i have other business guides on the motorcycle club businesses as well as the ceo businesses so if you guys are interested in that I'm gonna put the playlist down in the description below and I'm also gonna put it at the end of the video. So I'm gonna be going over how this works. As you guys see right now, my staff is assigned to research progress. This is where you manage your staff. So you can either assign to manufacturing, which will only provide you stock with your, so if you buy supplies or do supply missions, or then you can assign to research, which allows you to unlock Mark II weapons. It also allows you to unlock the explosive rounds and like the fire rounds and the other rounds that you can use for your guns. For your mark II guns if you um in continue your research so at the first level of research when it's full and you unlock your mark II weapons and then you, when you go further you get more well <clears throat> more things for your weapons like more ammo special ammo for your weapons and then over here you can also assign them to both so you can also assign them to both research and stock however i suggest you do one at a time now let's go over how i made so much money as you guys see i made over 41 million so I'm going to be showing you guys with the total of 61 sales, I've made 41 million. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I made that much money. So for the upgrades you want to buy is you want to buy the equipment and you want to buy the staff upgrade. What they do is they make your supplies go down faster and they make your stock level go up higher. And they also increase the quality of the goods. So they increase the quality of the guns you sell, meaning you earn more money. So you don't really need to worry about the security upgrade until you have like more, you have money to burn, right? The security upgrade really doesn't do that much, but you want to upgrade your staff and your equipment. If you don't have your staff and your equipment upgraded, then you're gonna have, when you resupply, you're gonna have to steal supplies. Do not buy supplies unless you have your staff and your equipment upgraded. Otherwise, you're not gonna make a profit. You're gonna start, like, you're, gonna, you're gonna make it like a minimum profit. You're gonna lose more money than you spent. So if you don't have your staff and equipment upgraded, I suggest stealing supplies until you have enough money. If you have your equipment and your staff upgraded, then I suggest buying supplies. So that's what I'm gonna do for 75,000. I know 75,000 seems like a lot, but in the meantime, when you wait for, uh, it takes like about two hours for full supplies bar to go down. And then in the meantime, while you wait, you can do like Kyoperico heist preps, or then you can um, run import, you can farm import export vehicles. So you can make money while you wait for the supplies to go down. So the way it works is if you buy supplies as well, you get a full bar of supplies. But if you steal supplies, you're gonna have to do three supply missions. So when you steal supplies, only a third of the bar is full. And for the bunker stock level to go up fully, it takes quite a, I think it takes like two or three, or maybe even three or four full bars of supply. But once the stock level is full, you can sell your bunker goods for over a million. So you'll be able to get over a million for a, a full level of stock if you have your uh, equipment and your staff upgraded. And that is pretty much how it works as well. Also, the mobile operation center is stored in the bunker and it is a pretty good business overall. My resupply success rate is 75%. That's from doing the supply missions and that's really how it works. It's pretty straightforward. And then, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to quickly show you guys the gun range as well. So you guys can see oh yeah i'm going to show you guys the upgrades that you can get actually for the bunker so if you go over here and if you wonder how you can buy a bunker you just have to go to maze foreclosure right now right 
and then it's gonna be this icon on the map. It's gonna be the blue icon on the map. I personally have my bunker in this location over here because it's the closest one to all my other businesses. And then I'm gonna, you can also get a shooting range over there. You can get personal quarters, you can get a gun locker and transportation. So if you want like go-karts inside the bunker, which you can't really use, you can only use them like in inside the very beginning, but then there's gonna be these bars that are like over here. You see those yellow bars? You can't drive them in over there. Like these are the little vehicles that you can buy as well, the little go-karts. But as you guys see, the limit it's pretty limited range. Like you can't really drive them anywhere besides all the way like down here. You can't drive them through there, unfortunately. So it's it's a nice little fun thing to have, but it's not really that useful. It's there if you have enough money to like flex on your friends, you know what I'm saying? Flex on the home with man. And then as you guys see here, we have the shooting range. And then if you go over here, we're going to have the weapons workshop. So as long as you have a custom weapons workshop, like in your submarine, you can also have a custom weapons workshop where you can upgrade your weapons to Mark II and all that sweet stuff. So I'm going to show you guys the weapons workshop and how to upgrade your weapons. I also have 123 mil. So if anyone's interested in that, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to link my business guides later on. So here's my mobile operation center. If you want a, your MOC as well, where you can do further upgrades to some specialized Warsaw cash and carry vehicles, you can store your MOC inside the bunker. So here is the weapons workshop, and this is where you can customize the cab as well. I can buy armor for your mobile operation center, or you can even respray your mobile operation center. As you guys see, you can make it chrome or whatever, carbon black whatever floats your boat or then you can customize the trailer as well which is crazy or you can customize like with the weapons you can also put a library on your mobile operation center but i'm gonna have a separate video on how the mobile operation center works okay all right so here i'm, a, I'm at my work, weapons workshop in my side of my submarine this is where you get the mark ii weapons so like let's say you want to get the special carbine mark ii this is where you do it you get it for 135,000. it is very expensive i'm gonna be showing you guys i'm gonna have a mark ii weapons guide for all the marked all the weapons i'm gonna upgrade them to mark ii once i hit 50, 150 mil so then i'm gonna make a video about spending 50 mil on gta online and that part of it is going to be the mark ii weapons and like i already have a mark ii weapon there if you want to get the different ammo types like dragon's breath shells which are like fire rounds flesh head shells steel buckshot shells or even explosive rounds which are insane dude this is insane damage especially if you're going pvp or if you're just going against some regular npcs um, you, you have to continue the research in your bunker property. So I'm going to continue the research in the bunker property. I'm going to unlock everything. I'm going to make a video out for you guys about that. And then, uh, yeah, this is the bunker guide, guys. If you want to see more GTA Online guides, whether it's businesses or property guides or even vehicle guides or deep upcoming GTA news and updates, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Can we try to get 50 likes on this video? I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, like I said, please drop that like. Peace.